Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signing a bill putting prayer back in the public schools. We're going to get into all the details, guys. First, let me say, if you would like to make a generous donation here to our ministry, we would really appreciate that. You know, we're demonetized here on YouTube. They don't support Christian conservative content creators like myself. We have PayPal and a Patreon. The links are down below. You sign up on Patreon, just five bucks a month to get bonus content there. Plus, we include the links to these YouTube videos there because you're not going to get all of the alerts. Then you can also comment on those videos on Patreon censorship-free. Avoid YouTube blocking and hiding your comments. Then, guys, you can also go follow me on Rumble. That is our backup in case we get kicked here off of YouTube. You can check out the content I'm posting there. Also, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Governor Ron DeSantis. This guy is awesome. I love him. I don't live in Florida. But if I did, I'd be proud too because he's doing a great job as the governor there. And, well, just yet another great bill signed this past Monday. They're calling it the Moment of Silence in Public Schools Act. What this bill basically says is that all schools, K-12, through all the first period teachers will be required for at least a minute, maybe more than that in some cases, to allow students the opportunity to pray. Uh, they can just take it as a moment of silence in general, just to reflect. But the whole goal in mind here, and Governor DeSantis said this, was that he wanted to protect religious liberty. He said, you can't just expect to just kick prayer out of the public square, out of schools, and expect that your country is going to be successful. It is just not going to happen. We've seen firsthand the United States. What happens when you try to remove God? And let's face it, folks, it's not pretty at all, and Governor DeSantis recognizes. Now, as far as the teachers go, any teachers that have a problem with this, they're going to have to deal with it. They are also not allowed to offer any suggestions to students about what they should pray about. Instead, the teachers are encouraged to explain this to the parents and have the parents get with their own kids and talk with them about what they might want to pray about if they choose to do so during the moment of silence that will take place each and every single day. Now, this new bill goes into effect on July 1st, so really going to be taking effect going into the 2021, into the 2022 school year. I thought this was just a great piece of legislation passed. It came up through the legislature, so this is not an executive order. Good on Governor DeSantis. He also signed some other bills, too, protecting Jewish communities. He expresses his just outpouring of support for Israel backing them 100% as well. Not only will he be running for re-election in 2022 for governor of Florida, but also rumors possibly running for president in 2024. I hope he does. I think he would make a great president. We'll see what happens if that is what God decides that, well, he wants as far as what his will is. We'll find out. But guys, this is why we do these videos. We talk about these prophetic news headlines going on around the world because we are trying to get people to Jesus because Time is so short. And if you're watching this video now, if you've not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you would like to do so, well, here's how you do it. You start by first acknowledging that you're a sinner. We all are. But God gave his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. Now, what you have to do is you have to repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that's counter to what the Word of God says. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't even remember it anymore. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It's a great blessing if you're able to help us out. Thank you to everybody who has been helping us out, by the way. You guys are all great. God bless you. You are much appreciated. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.